going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all having an amazing day. It is a beautiful day here in San Diego. I am joined with my friend Justin. You guys all know Justin. He is from Arizona and I guess I guess Taylor Taylor is also from Arizona. They're both from Arizona. It's kind of weird. I'm from San Diego. They're both from Arizona. I knew you guys are confused. Usually if Justin here that means Jacob would be here. Well, why, why are you in California right now? Kaylee's going to Disneyland, so came so, out here so to Jacob, take some pictures. Jacob and Justin's sister is at Disneyland right now. They drove, uh, Justin and Kaylee drove all the way from Arizona. We're gonna go to downtown, take some dope photos in all this new merch, guys. It's not new merch, it's just, it's always been there, but if you guys wanna cop some of this stuff, anything you see in today's video, check out the first link in the description. We got like cups, shirts, everything. It is an awesome day, once again. We are headed down to downtown, once again. It's gonna be awesome, are you guys excited? Oh yeah, I've shown them. I've shown them this. This is my portable charger, guys. They were there when I bought it at the airport. I love this. I'm it's like scared. she's obsessed. I told her how like amazing it is, and she was making fun of the fact that it's as I'm big as uh. It in here. Oh, and your new purse. Look at your new purse. What do you think about it? If you didn't see it yesterday's video, I got my mom and my girlfriend matching Louis Vuitton, guys. If you don't know what Louis Vuitton is, this is like this is like a downgrade. It's like one step down from my merch. Like this is designer, and then this is like wannabe T Fox merch. You know, it's honestly pretty fire. And uh, oh yeah, it was expensive. These things are. Expensive. Expensive. Uh, check out yesterday's vlog if you want to see her reaction. She literally broke down in tears. It was insane. I think we're good. I think I said everything I needed to say. You ready, boy? Seagull, you ready? Aye, aye, Captain! Seagull's ready. We're good. Aw, and the Kirby. Everybody loves Kirby. Hello. How you doing? She always is sleeping. She's just a little baby. All right, guys. This is not a product placement for Red Bull. I got Taylor addicted to Red Bulls, guys. You know, I I, I drink these all the time, and Taylor and is I a only coffee. Drink coffee. Taylor's a coffee fiend, but I swear every morning now she wakes up and she's like, "Hey, hey, we gotta go to the store. We gotta go to the store. We gotta go to the store." So and good. she's like hooked on it now. Like I mentioned, guys, we're going to downtown right now, and you all saw I got this bomber jacket when I was at the. Cannonball run when I was in Wisconsin. I am taking photos in this bomber because it is fly fresh. Oh, sick! And I got mine. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, I have T Fox brand. It's much better. You guys oh, should check it out. Ahead, there is a link in the description. Yeah. Go get out of the yeah, way. My first. God. Watch this, guys. You want to see how dope my house is? Watch this. Nice. Oh, so fun, yo. We see, uh, what? We're all taking that thing, right? Yeah, we're all hopping on this, guys. Why have I not done a video on this? This is my mom's scooter. I don't even think I've shown you guys this. It's like a little Vespa. It gets like 70 miles to the gallon. It's insane. And uh, I don't know why. I've never asked her to drive this. I really, I really want a street bike, but my mom always tells me that like that is an absolute no. Jessica tells me that's a no. Taylor tells me that's a no. My sister, ever. nobody, no girls want me to have a street bike. It's it's very dangerous, but they're they're cool. I really want one. So this is like the closest thing I could probably get to a street bike without anyone being not mad at me. Oh my god, I forgot about all this stuff. Look at this. This is some T Fox scooter stuff you already know what from Lucky Scooter Parts. If you guys want some wheels or jacks, there's also a link in the description for that. Hoverboard for the warehouse. Um, there's I don't even know what that is. So since having my GTR gone for three weeks, if you look at my, tri did you just step on my freaking Ooh. Gucci shoes? I'm just kidding. I'm not materialistic. I don't really care about them. If you guys will see in my trunk here, I am full of randomness stuff. Oh look. Oh, uh, Taylor, look. This isn't even drinking. This is. I don't know how long that's even been in there. Then I have a bunch of cleaning rags that I use to clean my car. There's some spray. I have my fishing poles. I have some dad hats in there. It's just a mess. All right, guys, we finally made it. We found some parking. We're in downtown. Downtown. Love it here. It's just like LA. It's so beautiful and crowded, and there's so many people. And oh, I don't actually don't like it down here. We got a parking space. We're looking for some fun places to take photos. Cool, huh? I'm not gonna film much yeah. of this, but I'm probably going to do something cool when I get home. Yo, 4:30, posted up, guys. We in La Jolla now. We're freaking transitioning, getting photos, and being musicians. Or none of us are musicians. That was a lie. What causes you physical pain? That I don't like Lambos? I don't know. I'm a, I'm a Ferrari guy, bro. See, I'm, I'm a, a Ferrari, Ferrari guy. guy. I was, and then I drove one, <laughs> and I didn't like it at all. But there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of these in here. Which one's your favorite? Good, good, good answer. We're being like, we're being followed too. It's just mad awkward in here, guys. It's just like super unwelcoming. I was, I was gonna pay cash for two cars, but. No, I just can't because it's just awkward. I don't know, rug. I don't know why you came here. We're being watched and no one's even talked to us or said a word to us. Kind of sad. It's kind of sad. But, well, I mean, we are kids, so we obviously, you know, they got that. They got that going for them. I know. I, I know we're just looking, but like nobody has said a word. It's like completely quiet. And the cleaner guy came from over here and was watching us that entire time. We're taking mad photos. Mad photos out here in La Jolla. La Jolla. I'm a fe oh. He's posing. He's posing. He's getting the pit hair in there. Oh my God! I see the pit. I'm filming it. 
Oh my god, that was awkward. That was bad. All right, guys, we're now now we're on the bridge. There's a little bit of crosswind on the Alfalfa River. Jake, I wish you were here to, to laugh at that joke because they all they all didn't get it, and that was just kind of awkward. All right, we're officially in. The, we've been in La Jolla. That made no sense. I don't know how to vlog today, guys. But we are. In, I just feel like I keep telling you guys where we are, and then we go to the next spot, and I tell you where we are. There. We are at the end of this bridge right now. He's taking pictures of me vlogging right now at this very moment in time. Normally, this is where all like the seals are and stuff, but there's no seals, so I can't film any of them. And water's splashing up. We're almost getting wet, but you know we're risking it for the Insta photos, guys. Update. We've spotted a seal. Where is he? He's right there, mate. He's right. Day. It looks like a little pup. Look at him. It looks like a little. It's a little puppy. It's literally in my house, guys. How was the photo session? How did it go? What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Did it go good? Yeah. Taylor's eating a sub over there. Justin's over here grinding away, editing all of the photos we just took. It was a. It was a super busy day. We've been gone for a few hours. Dylan already went home, and then I realized I didn't pick the camera back up. But we are back home, and now it is time for the purpose of this video. So now it is time to tell you guys my story. The whole reason you probably clicked on this video, unless you just come back every day, uh, then thank you. Thanks for coming back. Now it is time for the whole purpose of this video. So I am going to be talking about something that nobody on the internet knows about me. Uh, I'm going to be talking about my experiences with school, getting kicked out of school, uh, my whole my whole uh, situation with finishing school and how that all kind of went down, or, or even if I finished school. Basically just my stories about kind of school. I, I haven't really ever talked about anything around this subject just because it's kind of like, I, I don't know, I just never got around to talking about it and I thought today is a perfect thing. I was watching Faze Rugg's video of him taking his Lambo to school and then that made me think of the other video of my friend Jeffrey from JR Garage who took his Lambo to school and then I was like, it would be super cool if I brought my GTR to high school. But then I was like, Yo, this is even better because then it's just gonna bring up the question of even like my whole school story because no one even knows if I finished school, how I finished school, where I went to school, nothing about that. So uh, that's what I'm here to talk about. And then uh, hopefully if you guys want, smash the like button on this video and just like this video if I should bring my GTR to my old high school. Uh, let's get into the story. First of all, I'm gonna go all the way back to sixth grade. I think it was fifth or sixth grade. I'm not really sure uh, on how I got kicked out of school. This is before I was a YouTuber. I was strictly scootering. I went to the skate park every single day. I'm gonna give you guys a little rundown on that. When I finished elementary school it was right out of fourth grade and I like didn't know what I was doing my parents had just gotten divorced if you guys didn't know that I was nine or ten I think I was ten yeah I was about ten years old I didn't know where I wanted to go to school I didn't want to go to like the normal school around here because I got bullied a lot and a lot of uh, yeah, a lot of stuff like that. So I just like didn't want to go to this certain school. It was a school called Korea, and I did not want to go there. It was like super whack, super like ghetto. I just, I didn't want. I just didn't want to go to school there. My dad and mom, and somehow uh, a lot of my friends had been going to this um, Catholic school called Sacred Heart, which is also in San Diego. I was talking to all my friends. A lot of my friends went there, and I really wanted to go there. It was a private school, so you have to pay for it. And my mom didn't have a lot of money. Uh, like she, it was extremely hard for her to come up with any extra money a month. She didn't have much money to spend on school, but somehow we worked out a deal. Uh, this the principal there was super awesome and he let me and my sister go there for half half the price of what it normally was a month I went to this school and then I was there for a year and a half fifth and sixth I think it was fifth and sixth grade. I got kicked out in sixth grade basically what happened was I was like a super uh, Bad I wasn't like a bad kid like I wasn't like doing like drugs and all that like that kind of bad kid I was just like acting out because of like the whole parents thing me and my mom used to get in fights and just like a lot of stuff I actually want to do a drama live to explain this more to you guys because a lot of people don't know like my childhood and where I came from uh, I was getting a lot of fights with my mom I was acting out in school I was swearing in school I was getting in trouble going to the principal's office every single day my principal uh, his name was mr. Saavedra I doubt he's watching this video but if he is man you you were dope you put up with me he never kicked me out of the school when they can it's a private school that's up to them basically we got a new principal this is the straw that broke the camel's back you guys aren't even ready for this and I have a video of it it's still on YouTube after going to the principal's office thousands of times I filmed a video of my friend Luke like I don't even remember what it was it was just us in class and I was recording it on my iPhone Luke, dear Mr. Uh, if you do want excuse me I am talking I'm not doing anything you said yeah you're, you're staring at him and laughing while I am talking you are doing something go sit on the hallway I can't even deal with you right now thank you what Jake I'm sorry, Mrs. McClay. I, I, I'm being very disrespectful, Mrs. McClay. Those are the kinds of things I need to hear right now. So, Mrs. 
disrespectful. I don't know who to who told on me, who turned me in. Someone in this school probably didn't like me, and I got in trouble with the new principal, who was like this old lady. Saw this YouTube video and kicked me out of this private school because of that. And then there was this huge outrage with like my mom and my dad on like where I was gonna live because my mom was like kind of mad at me because of this and everything. So then I went to go live with my dad, and then he found something called charter school, which is a lot of things teens are doing these days. Uh, it's basically like independent study. You actually go to a classroom, but it's three days a week rather than like an entire week long. There ghosts in here. Anyways, it's basically like a school you go to like two to three days a week for like only a few hours every day rather than every single day for seven, six, whatever amount of hours. So I went to this school for, I think, two years. So now it is time for me to tell you about my experiences with school and like if I graduated, if I dropped out, what really happened with that. I get tons of questions about that. This is my own personal story uh, on my situation. I don't like, I wouldn't push this on anyone. I'd like you guys do you whatever you want to do with school, but this is uh, this is what I did with high school. This is right around the time my YouTube channel had start picking up. I think I had 500,000 subscribers. It became a full-time job at this point. Well, it's not about just being a job, but like it was a full-time gig. I was doing it every day. Like I wanted to put my heart and soul into this. I started missing out on school. I started falling behind. It was bad news. I was trying to keep up, but like my passion just wasn't there for it. All I cared about was making content and traveling and like literally just working and becoming a better person, like in the real world, I guess you could say. I, I pretty much at this point kind of stopped going to school all together like it was just like I just wasn't going I was trying to get my work done at home I was going into class only a few hours a day which we were supposed to do I was kind of falling behind on that and then I was like okay this is like I need to, I need to get this done school is important it really is uh, and I need to like at least finish it like I'm, I can't just like sit here and let myself fall behind and get more and more caught up in it I did this thing it's called a chess B test or uh, a GED um, same thing I'm pretty sure it's basically like a completion of high school so I took the this test English reading and math is what uh, the whole test consists of so I took that about uh, a little over a year ago I want to say right now in, a, in normal high school I would be a senior I guess that pretty much sums it up I don't want to drag this on way longer than it actually needs to be but that was my story uh, about getting kicked out of school and answering your guys's question on what I did with school I guess that's it Wow, that was really fun. I, I feel like that was kind of like a story time. And I really, it's it's so crazy because so many people have asked me about that and it was actually fun to explain it. So now you guys get like a gist of it. Like I, again, I could have gone hours and hours on about both these subjects, but hopefully that summed it up. Got kicked out of a private school, no bueno. Went to a charter school, took a test out of high school. So I, I am done with school now. Yeah, I'm smart. I'm real. Yeah, okay, I don't know what that was. Anyways, uh, hopefully that answered your question. You could probably explain this a little better than me. What were some of the things that I did in Sacred Heart that really led to me getting kicked out? Aside from the YouTube video, which is super ironic because yeah. of, you know, I, I do this now. So what were some of the stuff uh, that I would you were, do? You were always in trouble. You were always in the principal's office. For what? For what reason? Goofing around. Just go oh, mostly goofing around. Nothing bad. Nothing horrible. But you were just always... Saying bad words. No, just like... I got in trouble for saying it. I'm sure you did. You are just always in the principal's office. But Mr. Savedra liked you. So I, I said that. I said that. And then I, the new old lady didn't like she, me too much. No. Or Mr. Know. Turkey. Hopefully he's watching that. He was my fifth grade teacher. He didn't like me too much either. Um, so that was it. He ratted me out. And then, and then the rest is history. That was my story. Uh, of school. That's like, lit I swear guys, that's like the number one question I get ever is about school because no one knows it. I've never told this story. Like, I've never told anyone that would help you guys hear about this. Okay, I completely forgot to vlog this. I was supposed to end my vlog in the last clip and then I was like, you know what? No, I'm gonna vlog dinner. So we just made dinner and I didn't vlog it. Taylor mentioned and then I was like, oh crap, I didn't vlog it. So we got some chicken alfredo right there. And then in here, oh no, it's not in there. In here, we got some garlic. We got some garlic bread. My mom did help us a little bit because we are new to this whole like being family people, dinner, family friendly, um, being adults. But it's almost done. You gotta get it. You gotta get it. And then the pasta is just in here. My mom's kind of helping us because fun fact, my mom was a chef on a boat for a famous person named Famous. Rupert Murdoch. Was he famous? Yes, very. What for? How many followers did he have? I don't know. He doesn't probably have very. Is he verified? Okay, well he was a billionaire. My mom was a cook for him, so it's kind of a big deal. Um, no, I promise, I promise you that me and Taylor did in fact cook 75% of this. They it's did. just in this clip right now in this day and time. My mom is helping us. And then her t-shirt, her t-shirt, that tie-dye merch though. You guys can get that link in the description, of course. Jake is coming over. I don't know if he, when he's coming over, so I don't know if the vlog will be over by then, but we're getting ready to eat and it looks so good. Mmm, this is actually really, really good. We did a good job at this, guys. We normally eat fast food. Way too much because we're always on the road. We're always traveling, but it's nice to sit down Cook us up some food and some chocolate milk watch some YouTube 
that's gonna do it. See guys, I wasn't lying. Jake's here. Wait, when did you say I was here? I told them that you might be here, oh. maybe, may or be or not. I'm here. Yeah. But <laughs> sorry guys, Jake's gonna go ahead and roll that business for you. For the outro! I wish you were so good.